everybody! Let's talk a little bit about the psychodynamic concepts of primary and secondary gain as they pertain to somatic and dissociative symptoms. Primary gain is the reason for a symptom. It's the central or primary conflict that a symptom addresses. From a psychodynamic perspective, the primary gain from somatic and dissociative symptoms is that they help us manage unconscious conflicts and they prevent those conflicts from becoming conscious and entering awareness. Secondary gain refers to any and all advantages that a symptom provides. The secondary gain doesn't express or address the original unconscious conflict that the symptoms are response to. Instead, it's any other advantages that the patient gets from having the symptom. It's called a secondary gain because it constitutes all the benefits we get from a symptom that are in addition to the primary conflict that the symptom was developed to address. So imagine a hypothetical client named Sue, and Sue is a surgeon. And soon after, one of Sue the surgeon's patients dies on the operating table. She develops pain in her arms and legs that prevents her from doing further surgeries. The primary gain that Sue obtains from her pain symptoms is that she avoids and remains unaware of her conflicted feelings about her patient who died. Because she can't work, Sue is placed on disability, and she begins collecting disability payments. Her mother, who lives cross-country and whom she's very close to, comes to stay with her to help her with household chores. And Sue really likes this. So both having her mother nearby and receiving disability payments are secondary gains for Sue. They're additional benefits of being symptomatic, but they aren't the reason she developed hand pain and leg pain in the first place. Now, one of the ways we can tell if someone is malingering, which is a fancy word for faking their symptoms, is by determining whether there is a primary gain or not. If there isn't, then the person is faking it. If Sue were pretending to have pain in her arms and legs just to collect disability and have her mother come visit, she'd be a malingerer. But she isn't a malingerer because she really is experiencing pain in her arms and legs, and the reason, that is, the primary gain, is to manage her repressed upset about what happened to her patient who died on the table. The other benefits that she gets, her mom coming and the disability checks, are secondary gains. There are other good stuff Sue gets as a result of her somatic symptoms. So do you remember when you were a kid and you pretended to be sick so you didn't have to go to school? You were malingering. There was no underlying unconscious conflict or primary gain behind your symptoms. You just didn't want to go to school. And so the not wanting to go to school, which would be the secondary gain if you actually had symptoms, was the primary goal for you because you were a faker. Pretty sneaky, bub. Thank you.